Hi guys, welcome to GV Yoga Live. My name is Claire. Today I'm doing a sequence on yoga poses for indigestion. So grab your mat and join me here. So we're gonna start the sequence sitting down. So go ahead and grab your mat if you're not here already and meet me down on the ground. If you want to, we're gonna start in easy pose. So you can use a block or a cushion underneath if you want, but it's not necessary. So starting in easy pose, we're just gonna cross our legs like this as we begin yoga poses for indigestion. Bring your hands to your lap here and then gently close your eyes. Relax your shoulders. Lengthen your spine up nice and tall and connect back to your breath here. Maybe placing one hand on your belly, sending it some extra love as we wish for all of those things to move through us. Inhaling through your nose, feeling your belly expand. And as you exhale, draw your belly button back towards your spine to give your organs a gentle massage here. Inhaling deeply through the nose and exhaling completely. One more breath just to ground and release tension. Inhale through your nose and exhale, feel it fall. Release your hands back to your knees if you took them there. We're going to start with a gentle spinal twist. Twists are really good for indigestion because they help move and massage the organs. So we're inviting movement inside our body to kind of help push all that indigestion through. So staying in easy pose here, we're gonna scoop our hands up towards the sky, palms facing in, really lengthening the side bodies here. Relax your shoulders, take a big breath in. And as you exhale, begin to rotate your chest towards the left side of your mat, bringing your right hand to the left knee, left hand towards the back of the mat. Gently pressing into the left hand, lengthen the spine as you breathe in, and then gentle twist as you exhale, allowing your gaze to follow here. Releasing any tension visualizing the massage of the internal organs. Big breath in to lengthen. And find a little bit extra depth as you twist. Breathe in. And breathe out. Scoop your hands up towards the center here, and now we're gonna take it to the other side. So focus on really lengthening through the spine and the sides here of the body. And then as we exhale, we're going to drop our right hand towards the back of the mat, and then our left hand to our right knee. And just like the other side here, we're gonna press into the back hand, lengthening up the spine as we breathe in, and then twisting deeper as you exhale, allowing your gaze to follow. Staying connected with the breath, full inhales and full exhales. Just letting go of any tension that you're holding on to. Just allow your body to surrender into this posture and twist. Scooping your hands back up through the center. Take a big inhale as you lengthen through the side bodies. And connect your palms and exhale down to heart center here. Beautiful job, guys. So now we're gonna flip on over to our hands and knees, coming into a tabletop position. If you have any uncomfortability with your knees, you can go ahead and use a blanket underneath, but it's not necessary at all. So finding your way to tabletop position, we're going to come forward, stacking our shoulders over our wrists and our hips over our knees, coming into this nice strong tabletop. You wanna engage the core to remove any arching in the lower spine. Take your gaze down and then firmly press into your palms here. Lengthen the back of your neck. Just a soft breath in and an easy breath out. Starting with the cat posture, 
we'll begin to round our spine starting from our tailbone sending our spine all the way up towards the sky lastly tucking your chin towards your chest exhale out your air Unwind your spine vertebra by vertebra, dropping your belly down towards the ground, inhaling for cow pose as you shine your heart forward. Your gaze can go slightly up here, surrendering your belly down towards the ground and moving back into cat pose, exhaling your air, rounding and curling your spine. Inhale for cow pose. Heart goes up and out. And exhale for cat pose. Inhale, cow. And exhale, cat. On your next breath in, come back to a neutral tabletop just to recalibrate your spine here. Keep your gaze down, belly is nice and tight in. Just look Big breath in and a strong breath out. So go ahead and start to walk your hands forward towards the top of your mat and your feet out long behind you. You can stay on your knees here as we gently lower down onto our belly. Slowly, slowly making our way all the way down towards the ground. Just pausing for a moment here. Connecting your belly to the mat, to the earth. Moving our weight into Sphinx pose, we're gonna come up onto our forearms. So our forearms are gonna be in the shape of the number 11 and we are going to stack our shoulders over our elbows here and palms facing down. We're going to firmly press into our forearms. The tops of the toes will be pressing in towards the mat here. We'll scoop our head up and under and then sending your heart forward, really lengthening the top of the spine here, sending our belly down and towards the mat here, feeling that connection as we try and fight that indigestion, just feeling the gentle movements within the body. Big breath in through your nose, full breaths out. Again, sending your heart forward, just opening up your chest. So we're lengthening the front side of the body here and that's gonna create more space for that indigestion and invite that extra movement to move through the body. So one more breath in and a full exhale out. Coming in down back to your belly here, we're gonna bring our hands down by our sides. For this posture, as we move into floor bow, we're going to bend our knees keeping our legs parallel to one another, and then grabbing for the outside edges of our feet or our ankles. Take your gaze down, exhale out all of your air. And then as you breathe in, kick into your feet as you lift your chest and knees off of the mat. Continuing to lengthen the back of your neck here. This will begin to massage that lower belly area to help with that indigestion here. If you move a little bit, totally cool. Big breath in. The harder you kick, the harder your chest will lift up. Breathe in and breathe out. Slowly coming on down here, releasing your hands by your sides and then just windshield wiping your legs side to side. Bring your legs back to the center. We're gonna do that posture one more time. So grabbing for the outside edges of your feet or your ankles. Take your gaze down, exhale out all of your air to prepare. As you breathe in, kick into your feet, actively lifting your chest. Knees come off the ground here. Breathe in and breathe out. Massage that lower belly here. Move those organs around. You got this, one more breath. Coming back down towards the mat here. Release your hands down by your sides and again, windshield wiping your legs side to side. This relieves any tension in the lower spine that may have been clogged up during those postures. And then bring your hands underneath your elbows here, send your legs out long, and then gently push yourself up. Walk your knees towards the outside edge of your mat here and connect your big toes together. 
You're going to drop your hips down towards your heels here and extend your arms forward, coming into an extended child's pose. You can bring your forehead down towards the mat here and breathe. So we like to have our knees wide-legged here to allow our belly an unrestricted space to breathe in and out, especially during indigestion. It's good to just have the room for our belly to fully expand. Surrender to this posture and your belly. Just let it do its thing. We'll be here for two more breaths. Inhaling. And exhaling. Breathe in. And breathe out. Gently coming back up onto your hands, start to walk your fingers back towards the center line of your body. Go ahead and close your knees and then flip on over onto your bottom. You can walk your glutes forward a little bit here. As we move into our next posture, we're going to sit down through our sitting bones here. Our feet are going to be rooted in towards the mat, hands out by your sides, and then slowly and consciously as you can, Start to lower down all the way towards the ground. Vertebra by vertebra. Be as slow as you can. If you beat me, go slower. And then consciously dropping our head is the last thing. Our hands come down by our sides. So you want to walk your heels closer towards your glutes here. You want your fingertips to be able to dance across the back of your heels here. You want to really suction down the lower stomach so it connects to the uh, mat. So your sacrum and lower back are connected down to the mat here. Your fingertips can touch your heels. Take your gaze up. Exhale out all of your air to prepare. And as you breathe in, press into your heels. Lift your hips off the ground, coming into bridge pose. You can walk your shoulder blades a little bit underneath one another keeping your legs parallel towards one another. This will slightly tuck your chin, embrace the stretch in the back of your neck and the closing of the throat chakra here. Continue to breathe deeply as you send your hips up one inch higher. Inhale. And exhale. One more big breath in and slowly, slowly start to lower your hips as you exhale down towards the ground. Draw your knees in towards your chest here and give yourself a little hug, some extra love here. In wind removing pose, you're gonna find a slight constriction as you compress the organs and the muscles here. You can also give your lower back a nice little massage here. Find the pleasure in all this indigestion, right? <laughs> And when you feel ready to move on, you're gonna bring your hands down by your sides. Keep the knees in towards the chest. We're going to be moving into shoulder stand. So keeping the knees bent here, you're going to lift your hips off the ground. Bring your hands to your lower spine and start to walk the heels up towards your shoulders. Your throat will contract here, keeping your knees bent as you walk the heels of your palms up closer towards your shoulders. If this is comfortable for you, you can move on here and start to straighten your legs, coming into shoulder stand. Pointing your toes to send out that energy. Feeling the slight constriction here. Full breath in. Full exhales out. Breathe in, you got this. One more breath and exhale. So if you wish to go further here, we're gonna move into plow pose. So keeping your hands exactly where they are, you're going to start dipping your toes towards the back of your mat or towards the top of your head. <laughs> Keep your hands at your lower spine the entire time until your toes touch the ground, or maybe they don't, but keep your hands on your lower spine here. Really feel the massage and the compression of the organs in your lower belly. This is really juicy for any indigestion. This is gonna get things moving right along. Full breath in, full 
full exhales out, let go of the pressure, let go of the stress, just surrender into this posture. One more breath, and exhale. Start to bend your knees here as you open them up through the side by your ears. And then slowly, slowly start to walk your hands closer towards your glutes here, allowing yourself to slowly roll down towards the mat. Pull your knees in towards your chest here, finding wind removing pose. You can grab your opposite elbows, compress that belly here, big breath in. Full exhale out. Just imagine visualizing everything moving inside our bodies, promoting good elimination here, just fighting that indigestion with our minds it is the most powerful thing, I promise. Inhale and exhale. Last breath here, you got this. Inhale and exhale. Releasing your hands here, Bend your knees back towards the ground. Slowly roll onto your side body for a moment in fetal position. And then gently push yourself back up to a sitting posture here. Meeting me on the front of your mat again. Finding your really easy pose, just gently closing your eyes and tuning back into the rhythm of your breath and the motion of your body. Namaste. Thank you guys for watching Jiva Yoga Live. My name is Claire. If you have any comments or likes, please let me know in the space below. Hit the subscribe button because we would love to hear from you.